This is now personal. Against all liars, deceivers, abusers, and killers of humanity for profit. part number 10 and on part number 9 we did show you what the skeleton the insides of a black person looks like and what the skeleton of an albino anybody with straight hair looks like and uh, we've explained so far that beauty you've probably heard this sentence before in which they say that beauty is only skin deep but ugly goes through the bone this is a very true statement there is absolutely nothing beautiful about albinism because your insides and bones are rotting as you're looking at in this picture. So anybody who's suffering under the illusion of that beauty is in albinism, anybody with straight hair, is suffering under a witchcraft and a spell put on by Satan for you to deny humanity. And that the creator created us black with woolly hair in his image. So if you think there's anything beautiful about albinism, you are a practicing Satanist. But you just don't know it. So if you are in a relationship with an albino, anybody with straight hair, and you are black, you better make sure that you tell your children that they should get married and procreate with other black people so that albinism is wiped out so they have a chance at having natural intelligence instead of being unintelligent as all albinos anybody with straight hair are because of their genetics and as we've explained whenever you hear that word genetics and genes don't get carried away by the wicked medical industry and system of satan which makes you believe that Genetics is talking about your DNA and your chromosomes. It is not. Genetics is talking about your bones as you're looking at this image right here on the screen. Therefore, there is absolutely no beauty in albinism. Anybody with straight hair, you have to get that into your head. Anybody who has straight hair today or mixed hair is genetically ill, genetically sick, and genetically unintelligent. So if you're looking at that standard and you're falling after trying to be an albino, you will become unintelligent, naturally dumb, programmed to be stupid. That is the reason why the whole world is the way it is today. Because albinos, anybody with straight hair, occupy all stratas of leadership and power. So you're being led about by dumb, unintelligent people because of their genetics as you're looking at on the screen right now. So let's go over this. This is a pelvis from a black woman and an albino woman, anybody with straight hair female. You can tell in the difference, just like we are trying to make you understand the importance of carbon in your body which is falsely called melanin and melatonin and we have explained that the reason why there is less carbon in the albino anybody with straight hair is because they formed from homozygotic unions that means the embryo came from members of the same family lines in a nuclear family that means they are related by nuclear families which is not supposed to happen the creator created us to be heterozygotes. That means coming from different family lines and procreating. And as we've explained earlier before, the Genesis story was retracted. So you were made to believe that the children of Adam and Eve were committing incest. And from incest, that's how we came into this world. That's not true. We do not have time to explain the Genesis story correctly for you because there is an account that was retracted by the people who wrote all the bibles that you read today which is your government the families of satan so you have to understand this 
The Creator only spoke through a family, a lineage that He instituted in Adam. That lineage got passed down to the tribe of Levi in the Israelite nation, the real Israelite nation, not all the fake identities that you have around here. So that lineage in which the Creator spoke through was passed down to the tribe of Levi. And it's from the tribe of Levi that Moses came. All right? So they were the only people in the whole entire world whom the Creator spoke through. They were the only people in the world who had supreme intelligence because they had the genetics of the Creator Himself. This is something that they will not tell you in this world today. They were the ones who had the genetics of the Creator. They could understand things without being taught they had insight and information into what is happening in people's lives. So the government might be sitting down there and plotting something over and over again on what they're going to do. With someone who was from the tribe of Levi, who had the genetics of the creator, he did not need to be there to know what they were planning. Because they had the genetics of the creator. They knew before it could happen. They had insight when they were not even there. That is what is attributed as the so-called fake Holy Spirit in Bible, which doesn't exist. These people just had the genetics. They had supreme intelligence above everybody else. And we did explain that the reason why they had supreme intelligence over everybody else was to make you understand that there is a creator. Because if everybody had supreme intelligence like them, they would all become like the creator and they would say that they are the creator themselves. So for you to understand that there is a creator made this world because you do not have that intelligence. So when they speak, you know that these people are indeed from the creator. That is the reason why. And as I've said earlier, I am not one of those. So continuing on. Since the creator only spoke through that lineage of the Levitical priesthood, which Christianity tells you today is dead and gone, and has created false identities of the children of Israel, from the albino Jews who live in Palestine to the Hebrew Israelites, who are actually Native American and Native Indian in North America, and the so-called fake ethnicities of Jews in Africa all around the world, the people of the creator, who call them by his name because these people are so named by the name of the creator literally all their names means that they are children of the i am forever because that was the translation of the name of the creator given to moses in exodus in chapter number three from verse 13 to verse number 15 and we've explained that all the names of Jesus, Yahweh, Yehoshua, Yahushua, Yahashua, Yah, Jah, Jehovah, Elohim, uh, Lord, Most High, Allah, none of those names translate to that name which he said to Moses. I am forever. Go study that portion of the Bible that we just named. So every name of the children of Israel, the real children of Israel living who make up to 50% of the whole entire world population, but they do not know. Their names are so named directly to the I am forever, the creator. So continuing on, the government with the leadership of these real children of Israel have been killing the Levitical priests walking hand in hand together because you have to remember this when you study your bible who killed the creator when he came in human flesh it was the leaders of the children of israel why did they kill him because they were not of the lineage of the levitical priests they were not of that lineage they were politically appointed people who had usurped power because they were practicing satanism so they killed the creator of the whole world when he came in the flesh. So a lot of people do not understand. When the creator of heaven and earth came in the flesh, the people that he called his disciples and apostles were members of that Levitical priesthood lineage. He did not just call anybody. 
Remember the sentence he told Peter? Come and I'll make you a fisher of men. Why did he specifically use that word? Because the Levitical priesthood, who were the high priests, all right, of the children of Israel, were supposed to be fishers of men. But because the leadership of the children of Israel, the political appointed Sadducees and Pharisees, and the kings who had denied the Creator and were practicing Satanism, would not allow that lineage to lead its people. This lineage was the people that is called in Bible prophets. You could not be a prophet unless you came from that lineage. It wasn't something that you could aspire to. It was something that you had to be born into. And you had to be a firstborn son. You couldn't be second born or third born to be a prophet. You had to be a firstborn son. Go study your Bible correctly. Christianity doesn't want you to understand this. That's why they told you the Levitical priesthood is dead. So continuing on, in the same manner that the Creator chose only a certain lineage in which He could speak to and they could speak for Him, in the Levitical high priests who were only firstborn sons, as the Creator Himself was a firstborn son when He came into this world, Satan also has a lineage. Satan himself has a lineage in this world. These families from Cain have evolved in every single generation and they are still around till today. They passed through the flood and they are still around today running the world. They have passed through so many centuries. They have passed through so many generations and they make up 5% of the human population. And they are the ones running the world. They are the ones who own everything in this world directly and indirectly. They own lands, they own countries. Can you believe that? They virtually own countries. So even though they say this country is so and so and so, it is not really the person who is in power who is really running the stuff. There are other people, families who own countries. So the United States is owned. North America is owned. South America is owned. All the islands in the Caribbean are owned. All of Europe is owned. All of Asia is owned. And all of the greatest continents amongst all Africa is owned by these families, literally. So the names that you see there is just a deception. They are owned. So continuing on, Satan has a lineage too, which he uses to run the world. And those lineages are still alive today. Some of them become the members of your ethnicity because this is how they were spread out so you could say I belong to this ethnicity go check the leaders out the people who are really running you they are not really of your ethnicity they became imposters so many years ago so that is why history is kept under wraps and tucked away because if you know true history you will be able to identify who these people really are. So if you're busy on this channel just trying to think that we're going to be tossing out names for you and say, okay, here's the name of the person who's doing this and that. Here's the name of the person who owns this country or who owns that country, you owns that country. It's never going to work. So, for example, our channel is called Tricks of the S Trade. It's called specifically Tricks of the S Trade for a reason. So that a dummy who's not interested in real history, who just wants to know names, who's not committed to keeping the commandments of the Creator, can never ever get true knowledge even by listening to us right here. They won't be able to understand it. So if they go out and say, okay, this is the name of the person who does this and that, who owns this country, who actually runs the world, and they say, where did you get that information from? The person will say, I got it from Tricks of the S Trade. The first question any logical thinking person is going to ask you when you say Tricks of the S Trade is going to ask you, what kind of a name is Tricks of the S Trade? Because 
you are dealing here with supreme intelligence and if you are not going the route to understand the information from top to bottom you still won't get it even with all we are saying so continuing back on we want to show you what genetics means here so that you understand the word when he says that beauty is only skin deep and ugly is straight to the bone it's talking about your genetics the dumb albino anybody with straight hair community who think they are intelligent all right will think that when they hear that statement that beauty is skin deep and ugly straight to the bone they'll think like oh he's talking about that i have a nice character you know i i uh i i'm good on the inside i love people that's what they think dummies it's talking about your bones your bones are rotting on the inside so you could never be beautiful as an albino there is nobody that is an albino anybody with straight hair that is beautiful in this world because your insides and your bones are running just as you're looking at this picture here's a picture of the pelvis of an albino as you can see it has cracks can you see that cracks the density of the bones is cracking up because it's not strong enough it's running on the inside and as you can see it has a reddish yellowish tint because there is no carbon in it falsely called melanin and melatonin and how did albinos get to lose their carbon because they came from members of the same family lines in homozygosity so when you procreate with another albino you're procreating with somebody who came from the same family lines nuclear family and because of that the carbon and the melanin compounds inside the eggs all right on how the embryo is supposed to form or what is supposed to come out of the embryo that information is destroyed so that's the reason why as you can tell from this particular picture you can see that the spine of this pelvis is very long why is it long because when that information is destroyed the body doesn't know what to do where to make the skeleton grow long so it puts it all in the torso so that's why albinos anybody with straight hair have longer torsos and longer pelvises for the female and we'll get into that on why it is genetically impossible for an albino anybody with straight hair to have a butt like a black woman it's genetically impossible because everything starts with your bones and we'll get into that later on so when you see an albino all right faking pictures online for you or through pictures trying to show you that they have a butt what they have on is tight fitting clothes which is making all the loose fat in the butt area to look like it has a butt it doesn't have it all you have is the tight fitting clothes giving you an illusion with the wide swinging hips you think there is a butt there is no butt so that means if an albino anybody with straight hair who think that they can have a butt like a black woman because the system has made them to believe such a thing can happen they tell them go and get this elastic band and work out and you have a butt they don't have any whatever you're seeing as a butt is an illusion because it's in tight clothes and tight fitting pants when that shit comes down there's literally nothing there you're gonna be sorely sorely disappointed and we'll give you all the proof later on but getting back to this you can see that these bones here are cracking up because there is no carbon as you can see right there it's cracking up now look at the pelvis of a black person right here look at this it's sturdy and solid and you can see right here that the spine the vertebrae is shorter because blacks have shorter torso look at that picture see how long this is for an albino anybody with straight hair and see how short this is for a black person anybody who has woolly hair because when we say black hair it means you have woolly hair and we have given you the hair test in part one of roll call for you to identify if you are black or not so you can go watch part one of roll call and see that so the skeleton is your genetics do not have misunderstanding today when he says DNA and chromosomes they don't exist everything about genetics is your bone as you can see right here the black pelvis is sturdy there's no cracks in it because the information 
at the sperm and the egg which came from a heterozygote union the carbon compounds in the proteins were not destroyed because they came from heterozygosity black people woolly haired people that's why the body has enough information on how it should form and how it should function so every black person is beautiful the ugliest black person in the world is more beautiful than the most beautiful albino in the world because beauty is only skin deep ugliness rots to the bones black people are beautiful on the inside the insides are not rotting and cracking up so that's why they are beautiful compared to an albino who is unbeautiful the insides are breaking up and cracking up because they lack carbon let's continue on so let's continue showing you that your genetics is your skeleton if you don't have the genetics for it if you do not have the skeleton for it you cannot be anything so genetics determines intelligence if you do not have the bones for it you cannot be intelligent so genetics determines everything your bones determines everything it determines the type of person that you will become because you have to have the genetics the skeleton for it and when we're talking about genetics here and skeleton we're talking about black people woolly haired people so a black person can be more intelligent than another black person what you have to study is that black person's bones because that is where the intelligence will come from because right from time in the lineage of the levites who came from adam who were the only people who had supreme intelligence which the creator had passed down from adam to the tribe of levi of which moses came from their genetics were different from all human beings in the world they had the genetics of the creator that is why they had supreme intelligence so nobody else can have intelligence supreme intelligence in this example except you were born of that lineage you were born of the levitical priest the high priest specifically because the levites had regular priests and they had high priests you had to be born from the lineage of high priests let's continue on here because we want to show you how beautiful the bones are of a black person all right continuing on here it says we'll leave a link for you on the screen as usual it says here the mean femoral weight what is a femoral weight the femoral weight is your thigh bone the bone that starts from your pelvis down to your knee that is your femoral bone all right it says here the mean femoral weight and skeletal weight of the black men and women were greater than those of the white men and women when you read through this particular article it's gonna show you something later on that you know um albino men anybody with straight hair men had greater bones than uh black women woolly haired women it is false because right here they're telling you the truth it's telling you straight up that the female weight the bones of black people woolly haired people were greater in weight than the bones of albino anybody with straight hair men and women as we did show you earlier the black woman has even more high testosterone than any albino man anybody with straight hair man in the world a black woman we showed you that earlier so black women have more natural intelligence than an albino anybody with straight hair man can you believe that so if black women cannot be even compared and they are genetically limited in testosterone so they can be female and as we've explained there are no hermaphrodites in human beings if the black woman's testosterone which is required for intelligence because the more testosterone you have the more intelligence you have as we showed you is greater than that 
of an albino man. That means that of the black men. Black males is unsurpassed because black males are not limited to the amount of testosterone they have in their body. And for African males, they have exponentially high testosterone. The limit is off the roof. That is the reason why even albino supremacy, anybody with straight hair supremacy, white supremacy as you guys know it, is run on African intelligence of black males, African males. And as we've explained, when we say African males, it means that you are born and bred in Africa. If you have origins in Africa, but you were born and bred in the United States or born and bred in South America or any other country outside of Africa, you are not an African male. You have to be born and bred in Africa to be African because when you're born and bred in Africa, Africa has sunlight all day, every day, any time of the year. And sunlight makes you intelligent. We already showed you that. And they have the greatest fauna of nutrients in the world. So if you ever heard stories of this before, you've probably heard this in popular media, in which they tell you that the sun makes you intelligent. And that the reason for black people being intelligent, you probably heard this before, is because of melanin and melatonin. And you probably just wiped that away. All the people who told you that are government agents. Because they were sent as the forerunners to make sure that they model the waters on your understanding of what carbon really is, which is falsely called melanin and melatonin. So by the time that you hear this message, you would have been full of ridiculous information that you will probably think that we're saying something alike or akin to that. But we're not. So African males are the most intelligent human beings the whole entire world, but they are being programmed to be dumb because they believe in albino supremacy. Anybody with straight hair supremacy. So they're looking up to being dumb. And because they're looking up to being dumb, their own natural intelligence isn't working. But there are people inside Africa, especially the government, who know that the world is run on African intelligence. And whenever these African males discover great inventions, when they go to the government and say they want to put this invention to work, what the government does is sit them down under some sort of guardians or whosoever they say is going to sponsor that African, take all the information from him, put it in books, all right? Put it in a book and send it out to the Western world. And then they'll tell the albino masters who bring out all this information. Hey, I want so-and-so land somewhere in, a, in a New Jersey. I want a, a place in Europe. I want a place in, a, in a Australia that I can send my children to. And you get all this information. That's how they talk about it. So that's why there are so many European organizations in Africa. They are there under the guise of trying to develop the African continent. But it's all false. What they are there are just diversions and cover-ups to get African intelligence for how they run this world. That's how it works. And there's more to that story, but we can't go further than that. That's all you need to know for now. If you're really interested, you'll find out. So continuing on, it says here, the mean femoral weight and skeletal weight of the black men and women were greater than those of white men and women, respectively. The circumference and amount of compact bone of the shaft of the femur were also greater in blacks than in whites. And we've explained what the femur is. The femur is your thigh bone, the bone from your hip to your knee. Okay? It says, additionally, the authors noted that blacks have proportionally longer forearms and legs than do albinos, anybody with straight hair. So when you see the word white, it's talking about anybody who has straight hair in this world. So that is naturally known, that blacks have longer limbs. That's why they make for greater athletes. 
all right the longer limbs now continuing on here it says seal analyzed 100 dry fat-free skeletons with a wide age range from 25 to 100 years evenly divided into black and albino anybody with straight hair men and women total skeletal weight was significantly greater in blacks than in whites in addition to being weighed as a whole, each skeleton was divided into skull, trunk, upper extremities, and lower extremities. Analysis of covariance was done to correct for differences among skeletal weights. Proportional differences were noted, although no racial differences existed for the skull and trunk. This, this is a lie right here. This is how these people confuse you. You're actually making investigations, all right, into the blacks, and the albino anybody with straight hair skeletal structure and yet you say here although no racial differences existed for the skull and trunk you see how these people this satan is right information to confuse you because when you read that because you're unintelligent and you believe in the truth of albino supremacy that everything they tell you is the truth because you do not keep the commandments of the creator you become naturally dumb you haven't filtered it continue on it says Blacks had significantly heavier upper and lower extremities than anybody with straight hair who are known as whites, albinos. Additionally, the percentage contribution of the upper limbs to total skeletal weight was greater in blacks than in albinos, anybody with straight hair. Let's continue reading downward. It says, the bone densities of 67 black and white cadavers were examined by using radiographic densitometry by Baker and Angel. The density, ash density, protein density, and ash and protein contents as percentages of dry fat-free bone of the seven thoracic vertebrae, earth rib, tibia, fibula, calcaneus, radius, and ulna were measured. It's talking about the whole skeletal structure, okay? It says the individual bones from the black cadavers were significantly denser. This is what we are showing you in this picture right here. As you can see, denser bone, looser bone cracking up so that you can understand that beauty is only skin deep, but ugliness goes straight to the bone goes clean straight to the bone and this is what you see in albinos it's cracking up the bones it's not dense it's not strong if you're not strong physically you cannot be strong mentally you cannot have intelligence because when you are sick genetically sick as albinos anybody with straight hair are all you can do is follow instructions it's like somebody who is sick and in a hospital they don't have a mind of their own whatever the doctor tells them is what they'll do because they are genetically sick ill in the body this is what all albinos are so all they do is follow stupid instructions because they are genetically sick therefore genetically dumb and therefore unintelligent and people can be programmed to be like them because, as we've explained, if you're not using your brain, your brain cells will die. The neurons which fire the impulses will die. If we're used to taking out a battery from your phone and you no longer take out that battery from that phone, the neurons that were firing in that time for you to be able to remove that battery from that phone dies. So you can be programmed to be unintelligent, even though you have natural intelligence. And this is what is going on in today's world. Because Satan wants you to be naturally unintelligent so that you will receive an artificial intelligence. And therefore, you will be lost forever. And you will go to hell and the lake of fire, which is right behind you. Let's continue on. So, finishing reading this off, it says... The individual bones from the black cadavers, woolly-haired people, were significantly denser than bones from the albino, anybody with straight hair people and mixed hair people. The authors attributed the greater densities, now listen, to greater amounts of protein-bound calcium in the same volume of bone segment. Now let's show you how these people lie so you guys can understand what's going on. This picture right here that you're looking 
is the skeletal structure of a black person. All right. You can see right here. It has so much blackness in it. I want you to take a look at this bone. Where is the protein in here? Is this made of protein? The protein that you eat? Is this meat or fish? Is a skeleton. So where is the protein? This is how these people write false information because instead of telling you the truth that this is because black people, their carbon information and their carbon chains in the protein compound which form them as heterozygotes in the embryonic stage of development was not destroyed. So all the information on how the body should function came out right. This is the protein that they are talking about. Because as you can see right here, there is, this is not protein. This is a bone. And they were studying bones. So genetics is the studying of human bones. As you can see in this information here, all that we read to you was talking about the bones. What did it say? It said here the density, ash density, protein density, and protein contents as percentages of dry, fat-free bone. And yet it came down here and said that it's because of the protein bound calcium in the same volume of bone segment. Is there any protein in this bone? This is bone. So this is how Satan writes information out. Because the whole world is run by Satanists. If you do not keep the commandments of the creator, you will become unintelligent. Natural intelligence will be taken away from you. And that is why they call it artificial intelligence that's coming in the future. Let's continue on. So carbon is very, very important as we have just shown you when you looked at the genetics, the skeleton of a human being. All right. And because these people undermine the information because the world is run on albino supremacy. Anybody with straight hair supremacy, they want you to believe that the image of man is not black with woolly hair as the creator was so that you can all deny the creator without knowing. Because as we've explained, 95% of the whole entire population, if not, let's say, let's just be fair enough. Let's say 90% okay, of the whole entire world population are practicing Satanists. This is the truth. It's a sore truth. Because you all are filtering all the information that you hear and understand in your world through scientists who are albinos, anybody with straight hair. So, for example, they tell you that there is cholesterol in the food that you eat and you guys believe that. But when you pick up your scripture, there is no such thing as cholesterol. You haven't seen it. That means you are practicing Satanists because you've allowed the information of man. Man has become the person who tells you the truth instead of the creator. So that's how most people are. So many people think this way. They tell you AIDS does exist. Have you seen AIDS or HIV in your scriptures, in your Bible? And these are people who claim that they're following the creator. They go to church every Sunday. They've never seen it, but they believe. Most people believe that the world, the earth is round or a globe. That we came from evolution. They say that they believe in the creator. So most people are practicing Satanists without even knowing. And they're going to end up in hell in the lake of fire. And then they wonder, how did I get here? And when your whole life is flashed before you, you will now understand that you were practicing Satanists all along. Because as we are talking to you right here, let me make you guys understand something very, very clearly. Your whole life is documented from start to finish. From the day you were born, every word that you say and every action is being documented. If you're not keeping the commandments of the Creator, those documentation will be used against you at the end of this world when the Creator comes back. They'll show you. They'll show you your whole life. Because people don't understand. When you watch TV, what do you think TV is for? TV is for recording graphic information. So that you can virtually see images. That is how your whole life is documented. By the demons who are attached to every single person in this world. Regardless if you are keeping the commandments of the creator or not. 
So there are more demons attached to people who do not keep the commandments of the Creator. Those demons' work is to make sure that they drag you to hell. Have you watched a movie called Drag Me to Hell? That's exactly what is happening. Those demons are there to make sure they drag you to hell. Why? Because you despise the Creator. So people do not understand this. Let me make you guys understand something very clearly. In all that we are showing you right here, a lot of people will think that their biggest problem in the world is Satan and the government. Satan and the government are only doing their job. Their work is to make sure that they weed out all those people who hate the Creator and send them to hell, including themselves. That's their job. The greatest problem is you. Because you are not keeping the commandments of the Creator. You filter everything you hear and know through the lens of albinism, anybody with straight hair. So whatsoever this system, this government tells you, through white supremacy, you believe it. You do not check it against your scriptures. If you truly believe in the Creator. Because that's why the Creator said, you shall have no other Creator besides me. Once you believe in something else, you have believed in something that's greater than the Creator. And therefore, the Creator is not your Creator. That is the way it works. So your whole life is being documented by demons. Now, with people who keep the commandments of the Creator, they have fewer demons attached to them. What do these demons do? They document the lives of those who keep the commandments of the Creator. But their work besides that is to become stumbling blocks on their walk with the Creator. So they slow things down. They become frustration. They become stumbling blocks. So you can have maybe a bad day. You're keeping the commandments of the Creator and you have a bad day. Those are demons. Trying to frustrate your work so you deny your creator. This is how they operate. Okay, let's say for example, those who keep the commandments of the creator might have up like to two demons attached to them. One will be documenting their whole life. And another one will just act as a stumbling block. To make sure that your work with the creator is cumbersome. So that you either deny him and throw him away. And then you're going to be reverting back. To the people who do not keep the commandments of the Creator. For those who do not keep the commandments of the Creator, they don't have any less than 5 million demons attached to them to make sure they drag them to hell. Why are demons doing all this? Because when the Creator created the whole entire world, demons were not part of that creation because demons are the souls of the children of the fallen angels who made it with black women in this world way back in history before the flood of Noah. So when that happened, because when you die, you become fully a spiritual being. All right. Now, the demons came from celestial or spiritual beings and human beings. So they are caught in a plane. That plane right here is the earth. When human souls die, they either go to hell and wait for their final judgment in the lake of fire. I want you to understand how this thing works so you can get a clear picture. Human beings die and they go to hell first, not the demons. They go to hell first. If you die keeping the commandments of the Creator, you go to sleep. When the Creator comes back, you wake up. You go to a sleep that you do not wake from. You do not have any memories. Nothing. You don't feel anything. When the Creator comes back, you wake up. That's when your memories are restored to you. But with people who die, who do not keep the commandments of the Creator, as we've explained to you, that when you dream, you feel everything in your dream. When these people die, they feel all the pain and all the torture. They can see, they can hear, they can feel everything in hell. So demons did not have a place. They were not created. All right? Their final judgment awaits them. So since they came from the children of the fallen angels and human beings, the creator decided to give them work. And what was their work? 
to document what's going on in this world. That is their work. Because after the Creator came, angels do not operate anymore in this earth. That's it. The work of angels were to serve as messengers until the Creator came. So after He came and He left in human flesh, angels no longer operate. So the world is fully in control of demons. The only angel who comes down from time to time to operate is Satan himself. We don't have the time to explain all that for now, but that's all you need to know. So demons are here. More demons at least, if it's a percentage, 5 million attached to one single person. If it's a person who keeps the commandments of the Creator, they have like maybe two. If there's too much of it, it could be maybe like maybe three, four, or five. For those who do not keep the commandments of the Creator, they have at least five million demons attached to them. So the work of the demon is to make sure that they document your life. So that at the end of the day, when they show you that you were actually a deceiver, that you were a liar and a thief, but you mentally thought that you were fooling the Creator, you will have no doubts. It will come in as a sinking feeling that you lived your whole entire life in a lie. That is what is happening to most people today. They are practicing Satanists, but they think that they know the Creator because through everything they hear and see that's being told them, instead of putting it through the filter of the Creator, they do not, and they become practicing Satanists. Let's continue on here. So, we're still trying to show you how important carbon is, falsely called melanin and melatonin in the body. And we're reading from this website. We'll leave a link for you on the screen as well. It says, this paper provides a critical review of the numerous and various biological functions so far attributed to neuromelanin. So that's another ambiguous word. Neuro there means it goes through your central nervous system. Everything. Right? And we've explained earlier that central nervous system is just an ambiguous word for your brain. Because we explained that your brain and spinal cord and all the nerves in the body are part of your brain which the wicked medical system doesn't want you to understand so the word neuro there means that it's going through your whole entire brain i hope you understand that continuing it says an attempt to provide a unified theory based on the peculiar physical and chemical properties of the black particle can you see that black because it's carbon the neuromelanin cage. It is stressed that neuromelanin is not homogeneous. False. False information. Why this thing is not homogeneous? Because these are all words to throw you off so that you think that blackness or carbon in the body is just centered around certain parts. So you can believe the lie that the melanin, all right, is only in your skin, determines skin color. And as we've explained before, Melanin, black people can produce melanin in their skin if they get exposed to the sun. So if you have lighter skin, the longer you're in the sun, it's going to get darker. And it's going to be as black as anybody who's living in maybe uh, sub-Saharan uh, Africa. All right? Or East Africans. It's going to get as dark as that. The reason for the light skin variation in color of black people is because the sperm and the egg before fertilization did not get enough exposure to the sun. That's the reason for the skin color. It's not talking about what's going on on the inside of a black person. Because inside of the black person, they have enough carbon inside their bodies because they did not come from a homozygotic union. They come from a heterozygotic union. So the information in the sperm and the egg was not destroyed because they came from a heterozygote union. Homozygotes, albinos, come from a homozygotic union. That means they came from the same family lines in a nuclear family. When the Creator created us, we were supposed to come from different family lines, heterozygosity. 
with albinos, anybody with straight hair, they come from homozygotic lines. That means they come from the same family lines and are related by a nuclear family. So when they meet, the sperm and the egg, the information is destroyed because the carbon chains inside the compounds of the protein in the egg and the ovum, which store information on how the body is supposed to function and form, gets destroyed because of a homozygotic union. So continuing on, it says, it is stressed that neuromelanin is not homogeneous, as we told you, as we told you, that's a lie, as is commonly accepted, but is made up of different substrate-specific black pigments formed by the oxidation of zero diphenols or other oxygenated precursors, substantia nigra melanin, locus corellus melanin, retinal pigmented epithelium or ocular melanin, inner ear melanin, and so on. So you can see right here that carbon is in everything in your body and black people produce more carbon when they get exposed to the sun that is why when you get exposed to the sun or you're in the sun your skin gets darker it's not getting darker because you're suffering it's getting darker because your body is activating more melanin because the sun is energy and food we get all our food from the sun plants produce fruit through what they call photosynthesis, exposure to the sun. Same with human being. You produce more carbon in your body as you get exposed to the sun. That's why Africans are the most intelligent people because they have the full spectrum of the sun every day, all year, all through the seasons. So when you get exposed to the sun, you are not hurting yourself. You are reaping benefits which the wicked satanic medical system doesn't want you to know. So the carbon is in everything. Everything, as you can see right here, it says substantia nigra. We already explained that. That means the carbon in your brain. In your brain per se, as they say, brain, brain. All right? Because we've made you to understand that your whole entire brain and spinal cord and all its nerves that connect to every organ in the body is still part of your brain. But he's talking about the carbon here specifically that is in your brain per se, the one in your skull. It goes on to say locus corollus melanin. What is locus corollus melanin? Locus corollus is still part of your brain but is the part of the brain that deals with stress and panic attacks. So if you do not have enough carbon in the locus corollus, you get panic attacks and you get stressed out. You suffer from depression. That is why albinos, anybody with straight hair, go through so much stress and go through so much of panic attacks. That's why they are afraid of anything and everything. They have the police on speed dial who are other albinos like them, anybody with straight hair, who respond and then start shooting black people at the spot because they are panicky, stressed. This is the reason why albinos are the way they are. And we did explain earlier what happens when the body is under stress. You're supposed to upregulate a heat shock protein to handle the stress so that all your organs and your central nervous system are working properly so the stress does not bother you that's why upon all the evils heaped upon black people today in this world through satan and the belief in albino supremacy because satanism has made it to be criminal for you to be black that is the highest form of satanism so blacks are underpaid they don't get jobs if you go to any stores you find them full of albino, anybody with straight hair people who do not get those jobs on merit because they are genetically unintelligent. And yet there are more black people in North America, especially than albinos, anybody with straight hair. And there are more black people in the world than albinos put together, but yet they do not get enough jobs. And yet with all the albinos, Anybody with straight who get all the jobs and get all the accolades because they've made black people to think that it is criminal. So a black person born into this world regrets being born black because of albino supremacy. 
Do you guys understand where an albino is going to go in hell? Because you were created for one purpose by men. To take the identity of the creation of the creator out of the picture. To make them believe that they were not created by the creator. So the albino's judgment is going to be very, very severe. Because as long as you do not keep the commandments of the creator. As an albino, anybody with straight hair. The deepest, darkest portion of hell is going to be where you're going to spend your eternity in. With demons, those demons that you physically don't see today will be there with you tormenting you. Two, as we've explained, when men died, they went to hell first. The demons are still here. There are demons in hell, but those are the ones who did not do their job very well. They probably attacked someone that they were not supposed to attack who was keeping the commandments of the creator and they go straight to hell immediately. So that's why when the creator came in flesh and blood, you can read this story up in your Bible. When he was casting out a demon, a demon was called legion. That means they had over maybe like 12 million demons in one person. Okay? Those demons begged him, please do not send us to hell yet. We'll go into the peaks. A demon dreads hell and you stupid men are here playing around and thinking it's not real when it's right behind you. So, continuing on, if you do not have enough locus corellis carbon, falsely called melanin here, in your brain, you are going to have a lot of stress. You cannot handle stress. And that is the reason why with albinos, anybody with straight hair, who have been given the upper echelons of life today, even with all they have, they still commit so many suicides. Continuing on, it says retinal pigmented epithelium or ocular melanin. Retinal, in your eyes. Ocular, in your eyes. We've already explained that. Carbon, in your eyes, makes you see better. So that is the reason why black people see better. They have a better field of vision than albino. Another thing it says, inner ear melanin. That is why black people hear better. That is the reason why they know how to make great music, know how to dance, and are able to move far better because they hear better. Continuing on, it says, ocular melanin is believed to protect the eye by trapping metals and free radicals. False information. Ocular melanin does not do any of that. They're just trying to throw you off here. So just think, oh, it's just about protecting your eye, really. So if you get some sunshades or whatever, you're fine. It's bullshit. It makes you see and see better. Continuing on. It says, the paper shows that this unconfirmed mechanism is a rather tortuous, irreversible molecular accident, which at times may prove itself deleterious. Albinism. Now, listen to this part now. This is the part that you have to listen. Albinism often leads to deafness in animals. Wrong information again. Often leads to deafness in human beings. Albinism. Anybody with straight hair is genetically deaf. They are not hearing as much as they should be hearing because they do not have enough melanin, carbon, in the earring system. Because that information on how to store carbon was destroyed at the embryonic stage of development because they came from homozygosity, from the same nuclear family lines. Continue on. Indicating a genetic correlation. That means there's a genetic correlation. What does that mean? Genetics. When you hear that word again, bones. That means there's a correlation between your skeleton and your ear. Genetics. Continue reading. It says, These two conditions appear to be correlated at a molecular level to eye slash ear pigmentation and suggest verifying this hypothesis in normal and albino human individuals. Anybody with straight hair individuals. Can you see that? Can you see that right here? Now let's skip over and read some other things in here. So, it says skin and ocular melanin are chemically different. False information right here because they always want to make you believe that 
carbon is only responsible for your skin color. False. We've already explained the reason why. It says, continuing on, they are both involved in light absorption and dissipation. False again. False information. Continue reading. It says, the black particle structure melanin cage is believed to be fundamental to this process because there is a common bioelectric mechanism. Correct information. Bioelectricity. Because your body works by electricity. So the more carbon you have, the more your body works. Because it can transmit the electricity, which are called impulses, throughout the body correctly. Let's continue reading. It says, the latter is worth of further investigation. False information already because they already know this. It is also proposed checking how ocular melanin, the melanin in your eyes, okay, ocular, dissipates the excessive absorb light as heat or as current. Let's break that down for you. So, because you have more carbon, which is falsely called melanin in your eyes, your eyes can choose either to dissipate what is seen as heat or dissipate it as true images. So that's why black people see better. Hope you get that. Continuing on. It says, this paper suggests investigating the underlying mechanism, also studying whether this pigment is bioelectrically involved in audiology. False. Why would you be investigating something you're already talking about here? Because if you have enough carbon in your ears, you hear better. Continue reading. It says, according to numerous authors, substantial nigra melanin is only biological garbage. False information. Substantia nigra means it's talking about your brain, your midbrain. We already talked about this earlier. Okay? This view is rejected. All right, they say it's rejected. And it stressed that intracellular melanogenesis is a fundamental and genetically controlled physiological process. So continue reading lower here. It says substantia nigra melanin, the melanin that is in your midbrain, the carbon that is in your midbrain. All right. It says acts as a semiconductor transmitting and modulating nervous impulses. We already told you that. The more carbon you have, the more impulses that you can fire in your body. That's why black people move better. They have enough motor coordination. Can you see that now? That's why they make better athletes. That's why they make music sound better. All right, let's continue on here. It says, in a reversible way, in fact, substantial nigra melanin is absent or significantly scarce in two conditions of life. I want you to listen to this now, all right? It says that it is significantly scarce in two conditions of life in which the coordination of movement is either inefficient, newborn babies. Oh my goodness. What is it trying to tell you? It's saying that the compromisation of carbon in your body starts when you're a newborn baby. What is that telling you? It's telling you that the reason why so many people come out with straight hair or mixed hair is because at newborn babies their carbon was compromised. Now, why hasn't it told you what type or what's the reason for a newborn baby having a compromisation of carbon in their body? Because it's trying to cover up the fact that at the embryonic stage of development, for anybody who has straight hair or mixed hair, that they came from a homozygotic union. Their parents came from the same family lines and were directly related by a nuclear family. And because they were directly related by a nuclear family, the information in the sperm and the ovum of those parents became destroyed. The carbon which was supposed to store the information on how you were supposed to come out, those carbon chains were destroyed. 
And because they were destroyed, the information on how the sperm and the ovum should act to make out that you come out right was destroyed as a newborn baby. This is what happens to all albinos, anybody with straight hair or mixed hair as well. So continuing on, it says here, in fact, substantial negro melanin is absent or significantly scarce in two conditions of life in which the coordination of movement is either inefficient, newborn babies, or strongly compromised Parkinson's. Because as we've explained, all albinos, anybody with straight hair, are suffering from Parkinson's disease. This is what they won't tell you, is the reason why albinos cannot move right, are not great athletes, and they have problem with so much coordination. That is all symptoms of albinism. Anybody with straight hair, because anybody who is an albino is genetically sick, genetically ill, and genetically unintelligent. They have no natural intelligence except what is taught to them by this system and which was taught by a black person and that black person was an african so continuing on we just want to show you so you understand all right and have a very clear picture of what we've been sharing so far all right it says here in this particular article which we'll leave a link on the screen for you says inbreeding is characterized by an increase in homozygosity you've heard us say that word over and over again on roll call. Homozygosity, it means you come from the same family lines and are directly related by a nuclear family, which all albinos, anybody with straight hair are. Continuing on, it says, resulting in increased expression of recessive deleterious alleles. This is all bullshit. It's just talking about the fact that your genetics, your skeleton, is directly related to the other person that you are procreating with if you are an albino, all right? And or reduce opportunity to express heterozygote superiority. Can you see that? So heterozygosity is superior over dominance hypothesis. It's not a hypothesis, all right? Because hypothesis means that you're just proposing a thesis. It means that this is real, it's factual heterozygosity coming from different family lines and not directly related by a nuclear family as all black people people with woolly hair like west africans are heterozygosity because the creator created us to be heterozygotes adam and eve were heterozygotes they were created they were not related I hope you understand that now. And that is how all human beings were supposed to be when they procreated from heterozygosity, different family lines. And as you can see here, it says superiority. What does that mean? Black people, woolly haired people who come from the heterozygosity are superior and is proof in the bones as we showed you here you can still see right here that the albino bones is cracking up it's fragile that's why albinos have so much broken bones they are very fragile they have a lot of bone injuries but this they won't tell you because they want you to keep believing in albino supremacy instead of trying to be black they want you to remain as albino so that you continue serving the purpose that you were created for. To make creation believe that the creator created us as albinos. So that the creation can continue practicing Satanism by denying their creator. That is what the albino, anybody with straight hair, was created for. Besides the fact they were made to steal the identity of every black person in this world, which they have done wonderfully so far great the only thing that they have not yet done today is that they have not yet claimed to be africans <laughs> you see the creator is so smart of everything they can't claim to be africans but they've claimed every other black identity under the sun except their true identity which is asians 
either from North India or the Oriental states or India itself and all the Asian states. That is where everybody who has straight hair comes from. They are not Mexicans. The Mexicans that call themselves today Mexicans are not really Mexicans. They are imports who came from Europe. So albinos, anybody with straight hair, moved from the continent of Asia into Europe and North Africa, and then they were immigrated into North America, South America, and the Caribbean in the 1800s. That's barely 219 years ago. And today they are Mexicans. The real Mexicans are still there. They are the ones they call as Negra in Mexico. The real black Mexicans. And yet they tell you that those Mexicans are slaves that came from Africa. Wrong information. So as you can see right here, it's in your bones. This is the bones of an albino. Anybody with straight hair. It's cracking. It's loose. That's why they have all these genetic abnormalities. So continuing on, it says here that deleterious effects of inbreeding, especially on fitness traits. Can you see that? Albinos, anybody with straight hair, are genetically unfit. The women, the albino women, who are the dumbest of all creation in the world, they've been soaked into a belief that they are the most beautiful and so many people have bought into it. Because anybody who loves the beauty of an albino, anybody with straight hair, you are loving the beauty of Satanism because that's what Satan wants you to see. So if you love an albino, make sure that that albino is keeping the commandments of the creator and that you tell your children that are born of that relationship that they are black and they should seek to be black. Otherwise, what you have as a partner which you adore and say, because most black people say, I got me a white girl. Or most black women will say, I got me a white man. I don't deal with black men. What you have or what you got is albinism as a partner. Anybody with straight hair. So you better realize that. Otherwise, you're setting up your children for failure. You're setting them up to go to hell because they are not intelligent. And they will receive artificial intelligence in the future. Besides the fact that albinos have so many genetic abnormalities that cause them to have autism, ADHD, and so many diseases. If a black person suffers from any disease, then an albino suffers. They were poisoned. So, for example, in hospitals, all right, they deliberately poison black babies and black people to bring up a statistics to make us believe that black people suffer the same diseases, all right? Just like albinos, anybody with straight hair. That is what they do. So you see a black baby coming out to be autistic. It's because you were poisoned. That baby was poisoned. At the prenatal stage, when they were giving the mother drugs or whatsoever sort of antibiotics or prenatal drugs, those children were poisoned. To make a statistic, this is how wicked and satanic the medical system and industry really is. And why is it so? Because even the people hearing me say this are also practicing satanists themselves. The black people, they are also practicing satanists. Because they refuse their natural intelligence and are programmed to be as dumb as albinos anybody with straight hair are. So, if you're loving an albino, make sure that you are loving one that keeps the commandments of the Creator and you have made your children born out of that relationship to know that they are black. We're going to show you how the government tells you slyly that you are suffering without you knowing, even albino, that you should marry and procreate with a black person so you get some carbon for your children for the next generation. But why do they want you to do that? Because they haven't yet perfected the artificial intelligence chip. And they haven't yet programmed the whole world to receive it. Natural intelligence is continually being wiped out. So let's continue on here. It says, the deleterious effects of inbreeding, especially on fitness traits, are well known and of considerable concern in human genetics, human bones. 
this is what you're seeing right here human bones genetics once you hear that word genetics is talking about your bones as you can see here the bones of an albino anybody with straight hair is cracking up let's continue on it says here animal breeding can you see that we already showed you that that the whole entire animals today are suffering from albinism as well anybody with straight hair because we did make you understand that the creator created us heterozygotes and satan brought about homozygosity brought about homosexuality so anything homosexual homozygosity satan brought about that because he has the ability to influence everything in this world animals the weather and human beings all the crazy weathers that you see hurricanes or whatsoever are all caused by satan when you study your bible you will never see that the creator sent a whirlwind or hurricane or tornado to destroy anybody go read your scriptures you've never seen that he did not do any of that so all the hurricanes and all the crazy weather that's happening in the world is caused by satan and yet people will say god but do you do not understand that when you use the name god you are talking about satan that's what's going on it's not the creator doing that all the strange weathers that you find is caused by satan with the help of demons so continuing on it says here animal breeding and conservation biology so you can see how important carbon is they make you to undermine it because they want you to be genetically unintelligent as albinos anybody with straight hair really are let's continue on So next on our presidential check is President Bill Clinton. Oh my goodness. So Hillary Clinton, let's start first of all with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton were two lesbians in the White House. And remember that on part number nine of roll call, we did a gender check on Al Gore and Al Gore as the vice president was also a woman. So, so far we've shown you two generations of presidents in which the president and the vice president were females. Ronald Reagan and George W.H. Bush Sr. And now we have Bill Clinton. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask the question, was George Bush, the younger George Bush, a male? Yes he was male but president bill clinton the president before george bush jr and vice president al gore were two females in the white house and nobody ever told you this what kind of a country is the united states of america now people before we continue this i have to make you understand this the people that are going to suffer the most in hell are going to be human beings, human souls. People do not understand that hell is very real. Literally, it is right behind you. If you want to understand that statement, you will understand it. You'll know how to get to understand it. But since you don't want to understand the statement, we are not interested because there is so much wickedness in this world and wicked people. And I personally, besides the team, would want all of you to be in hell. We would not do this, but we are compelled to tell you the truth so that you will make the right decision. When you study your Bible in the book of Genesis, when the creator told Adam and Eve, specifically Adam, because Eve was created later, all right, after Adam was given the instruction, but a lot of people will not know that because they do not understand the Genesis story because the Bibles they read did not narrate it well. 
or tell you because they redacted that information when adam was told by the creator in the day you eat of the fruit of this tree you shall die adam was a human being he did not tell the angels that he did not tell satan that he told adam you shall die and death means going to hell total separation from the creator even though adam today will be in heaven as a saint as a patriarch these are the only human beings currently in heaven even though we all believe that we'll go to heaven this is not the truth only the patriarchs the people who died believing in the creator from the first man in adam to the last man who died before the creator came out of hell himself with all of them those are the only people who will be in heaven we don't have time to explain the story beyond that so when the creator said to adam in the day you eat of this tree you will die he was speaking specifically to human beings so human beings are going to be the ones that are going to be thrown into hell and the lake of fire in the deepest portion of it and then with demons also who will torture them besides the torture of the lake of fire so if you do not keep the commandments of the creator and you think you are because a lot of people think they are when they are not a lot of people think they are worshiping the creator when they are worshiping satan as christians do today you're gonna spend eternity in that lake of fire because satan doesn't want you to know it's real he doesn't want you to because he wants you to be there with him also let's continue back with bill clinton so as you can notice right here with president bill clinton the president one of the greatest presidents that the united states has said to have throughout history start spreading from underneath the elbows i want you to notice that see the hourglass figure right here it goes all the way down until it gets to the crutch in which where the Q angle. I want you to follow my mouse. Take a good look. This is all pelvis. Goes all the way down. It curves and curves. And then here the Q angle starts because it's below the crutch. Because President Bill Clinton is 100% female. And Hillary Clinton was a practicing lesbian in the White House. So when the so-called political machinery tells you every day we want to put a female president in the white house it's about time that we have a woman in the white house they already have for so many donkey years right from the time that the presidential system was starting to get whitewashed i want you to notice the difference between a male and a female pelvis here also in this picture this is a man over here. As you can see, the Q angle starts high up here, above the crutch. This is the man's crutch. You can see it starts slanting right up here. With Bill Clinton, it's below it. Because Bill Clinton, a United States president, is 100% female. And none of the world leaders, none of the vicious people who attacked him during the presidential campaign, told you that president bill clinton was a woman so that means monica lewiski was lying monica lewiski said that she had an oral examination of the president in the white house to which impeachment notices were served that president bill clinton should be impeached but this was all a false story why was it false because throughout the years, people started noticing that the American presidents looked very effeminate. Besides the fact that albinos, anybody with straight hair, are effeminate looking. But the presidents looked more effeminate than the albino males who are already effeminate. Anybody with straight hair males. So when people started noticing this, the wicked satanic government decided to put in a practice in the fact that if they put a female president imposter in the white house 
They have to bring up stories to make you believe that president is male. So you stop looking at the effeminate nature of that president. So what did they do? They decided to be creating these stories of a male president having so much intercourse, sexual intercourse with females all around to prove the point of masculinity as normal males usually do. So this is what happened in Monica Lewinsky, who wrote a book, who became a superstar for saying that she had an oral examination of President Bill Clinton sexually. This was all a lie. To make you stupid, guys, who are unintelligent, programmed by the dumbest people in the world, albinos, anybody with straight hair. Instead of using your natural intelligence as a black person, which you saw, because you do not keep the commandments of the creator and you pass the filter of everything you hear through white albino or anybody with straight hair supremacy. Instead of the creator and the scriptures, which even though was fabricated by the government, contains some valuable truth and structures in the way that you ought to think to understand this world. You believe that. And now here you are, heading for the lake of fire at the end. President Bill Clinton lied to you all that he was a man. He was 100% female. So here's the next picture of President Bill Clinton. I want you to take a good look at the mannerisms of this man right here. You can tell right off the bat that this is a woman. As we've always explained, the way a woman behaves is because of her skeleton. Your genetics is your skeleton. So that's why, for example, if a man who's a homosexual or transgender, which is still a homosexual, tries to behave like a woman, it's going to come off wrong because you can tell there's something wrong because the skeleton is not made and adapted to have that female energy. So a homosexual is a constructed feminine energy, just like feminism today, which is run by demons. So feminism is one of the worst things to happen to humanity because it makes women who are of less intelligence than males. And when we're talking about less intelligence here, we're talking about black people. So if you're not albino and you insert yourself into that statement, you're obviously in the wrong. Okay. All comparisons of gender is made in these videos in our videos about black people because the creator created us black with woolly hair that is the image of humanity so if you have straight hair and you try to compare yourself amongst the genders you're obviously in the wrong because we are not talking about you so feminism makes women to be far far dumb a woman has natural intelligence, but when she carries on feminism, she becomes eternally dumb. Now, with albino women, because already they have lower, lower intelligence of all creation, albino women have the lowest intelligence in the world. The only way an albino woman Anybody with straight hair woman will have intelligence is if they keep the commandments of the creator. Because when you keep the commandments of the creator, anybody who does so, they become wise. Because your brain cells will start activating correctly. The natural intelligence that the creator gave you will get activated because that is what happens. Because we were created by the creator. So when you keep his commandments... The intelligence that he gave you will get activated because you were created by him. That's how it works. So for an albino woman who does not know the creator, and we're not talking about being nice to people. What this system has trained people to do is that they train you to be wicked. All right. The system literally trains you to be wicked. So how does the system train people to be wicked? So, for example, the system makes every wickedness to be legal. So it gives you the license to steal, to kill, and to lie and deceive people to get money. That's wickedness. 
Then after that, it tells you that if you give to charity, all right, then you are not wicked. That's what the system does. So the system has trained people to believe that when you give out gifts, after you have stolen, killed, deceived, all right, and corrupted people, then you are a good person. So for example, all the Christmas giving and giving during the times of the year, like Black Friday and all that bullshit, is to actually make wicked people believe that they are good. So they go to hell and the lake of fire. So the creator does not need gifts. You giving gifts to human beings does not make you good. All right? What the creator demands from every human being is for human beings to have mercy, for humanity to have mercy, have righteousness and judgment, which can only be gotten by keeping the commandments of the creator. So giving gifts is not going to make you acceptable before the creator. It does not mean that when you give gifts that you are good. You are a very wicked human being. How did you get that money that you are giving those gifts from? So for example, let's give you a typical example. You see how a lot of artists behave, especially music artists. They corrupt the minds of young people and make money off of it. They show them immorality, corruption, homosexuality and every vice under the sun and they make money from it and when they make this money from it they now give gifts to charity they now say oh we're donating to the breast cancer society we're donating to children orphanages in homes schools and hospitals you see beyonce go out and do that but beyonce who is a man will be corrupting you through her songs corrupting the young minds of children through her songs walking around naked on stage then he takes that money and gives to orphanages. He sometimes sends gifts to people. And people actually believe that Beyonce is a good person. So that is what the wicked satanic system has made us to believe. That if you give gifts, all right, then that means that you are a good person. And people do that all year round. So, Getting back here to what we were trying to say, of all creation, the albino woman, anybody with straight hair female are dumb because of feminism. Because feminism makes everybody weak. Feminism is what Satan is using in greater practice, coupled with albino supremacy to make the world weaker. And program people so that they are not able to think because they have refused the commandments of the Creator. All they care about is their gut and belly. And with their gut and belly, they'll go to hell and the lake of fire. So when people like this are in the White House, like Bill Clinton, they've been lying to you right from the get-go. And saying that they're trying to put a female a woman in the White House when there have been consistently females in both presidents and vice presidents in the White House, including Bill Clinton, as you can see here. So judging from this skeleton right here, you can see that Bill Clinton is 100% female. When we go further down, you can notice right here that the Q angle of Bill Clinton is below the crotch. You can see that she spreads from underneath the elbows, as you can see right here. You can see the tilt of the pelvis leaning forward all the way down. And here is the crutch where the acute Q angle is. And this picture is photoshopped. It's not clear because the wicked satanic government who are run by the satanic families of the world know how to hide stuff in pictures so you do not see what you're supposed to see. So they made this picture all blurry or very low quality because they were capturing the fact that President Bill Clinton was 100% female with an acute Q angle. And look at the fat round thighs of a female. This picture is photoshopped. You can tell by the edges right here. Look at all this. You can see this white area right here, right? It's all Photoshop from Getty Images because they are all owned by the satanic families who run the world and the government for Satan. President Bill Clinton, United States President, 100% female. And these males here 
Who say they are secret service? Never told you that. Not one of them leaked a story to you. Here's another picture of President Bill Clinton. As you can notice, this is photoshopped as well. You can see that the lines here is very straight. It looks like someone took a ruler, all right, and made this very straight because they were chopping off the president's thighs for you to see that this is a woman. You can even see here how big and round the thighs are. They are rubbing against each other as the fat thighs of a woman usually do. But you can see right here that Bill Clinton starts spreading, all right, follow my mouse, hourglass figure from underneath the elbows directly under the rib cage as all females do you can see that she gets wider and wider and rounder and right here the q angle starts but all this is hourglass figure because president bill clinton here is 100 percent female with a cute q angle that's below the crotch and not above it like it should be for a man because President Bill Clinton is 100% female. You can see the difference in the Q angle here of the male that's right behind her. See where the Q angle of this man starts right here. High above the crutch. This is the man's crutch. That's the Q angle. See? It slants there. But President Bill Clinton own starts here. Below the crutch. Hourglass figure. Round hourglass figure of a female starts right here. Look at that. Hourglass figure all the way down. Because President Bill Clinton is 100% female. Let's continue on. Here is another picture right here. Can you see that? Still, this is Photoshop, but you can notice the acute Q angle because females have a much more acute Q angle than males because the hips of a female are below the crotch. The hips are wider because the pelvis is wider for childbirth. And that is what makes a woman to have an hourglass figure. And this is what Bill Clinton is exhibiting. An acute Q angle below the crotch with specially constructed shorts to hide that fact. Can you notice how short the shorts of Bill Clinton is? Because it's meant to give you an appearance that the crotch is lower down in the torso like a man should. Can you notice the difference in the short this man is wearing? It's much more longer. Right? Can you see that? Because the man's crotch is at the bottom. So this one is more like making the shorts to be like hipsters you know women wear hipsters in which they have these pants that sit very low down in the hip so this is what bill clinton is wearing hipster shorts to fake the crotch so you do not notice that it is the long pelvis of a female but the cute q angle here and the hourglass figure that it shows shows you that president bill clinton is 100 percent female and yet nobody mentioned this fact to you all the presidents did not even whisper and we showed you a clip earlier on roll call in which president bill clinton was making a statement amongst black people about the inventor the father of the internet the father of supercomputing and super processors today that we all enjoy who was an african from the country of nigeria philip emegwali and the Africans whom he addressed there never whispered this to their population, that President Bill Clinton was a woman. Nobody heard this story because Satan runs the whole entire government system of this world from top to bottom in every single country. Let's continue on. Here is President Bill Clinton with her mother, Virginia Clinton. All right. As you can notice, the way this baby is dressed here, President Bill Clinton, is dressed in female clothes because it's a female. A baby boy shouldn't be wearing this kind of clothes. It's a dress. But Bill Clinton has a dress on because President Bill Clinton was 100% female. Well, let's continue. That's the mother, Virginia Clinton Kelly. So this is President Bill Clinton with his so-called daughter, Chelsea Clinton. As you can see, President Bill Clinton has an hourglass figure with an acute Q angle below the crotch. And Chelsea Clinton here would not have come from President Bill Clinton. You can see the hourglass figure. Can you see that? Follow my mouse. Hourglass figure. Huge, humongous hips curving all the way down. And look at this, an acute Q angle. And President Bill Clinton, even though we can't fully see how she's walking in this picture, but you can tell that she is leaning all the weight of the body into the leg that's in front of the stripe, as women usually do, because of the wider hips 
So biologically, a woman is wired to walk that way in a catwalk manner by leaning all the weight of the body into the foot that's in front of her because the foot needs to come inside and forward at the same time, which causes the woman to have a hip swing. All right. You can see women swinging their hips because that's all trying to manage the rotation of the female in the hips of a wider female to manage the weight of the body biologically wired to do so this is what bill clinton president bill clinton of the united states is exhibiting because bill clinton is 100 percent female hourglass figure so the question now arises how did president bill clinton get chelsea clinton and who impregnated hillary clinton well you need to watch our primer series to have full understanding of that so get on the channel on youtube channel and look for the playlist that's called primer for you to understand how these people lie to you about dna and chromosomes there is no such things they just make siblings all right to procreate with the wives of these transgenders all right and bring out children and then they assign these children to the people who are transgendered to make you believe that transgenders can have real children so president bill clinton has siblings he has two brothers the brothers names are, are roger clinton and henry leon so those two would have sired chelsea clinton for bill clinton because there is no way that two lesbians in hillary clinton and bill clinton could have sired children genetically impossible because DNA and chromosomes is a hoax and does not exist. The only way a person can get pregnant is through a sperm and an egg. And anything that you hear about the fact that they can choose traits in a sperm and an egg to appear is all false information. What you have is crossbreeding. So right now, as we're talking to you, the wicked satanic medical system, the government of this world, they are cross-breeding people. When they cross-breed people and inbreed people, they can make somebody to look like someone from the past. And you guys can believe in the false ideology and lies of DNA and chromosomes. That's how it works. There's an active inbreeding and cross-breeding of human beings done by the government. The families that run the world. This is what they call the clone army. They crossbreed and inbreed these people and put them in positions of power all around the world. Cloning does not mean that you can actually reproduce a human being of the same person. It's impossible. Even with animals, it can be done. What you have is crossbreeding and inbreeding, and they lie to you that it's cloning. Cloning does not exist. So if we use that word clone, I just want you to understand that that is not what we are saying. All right. I can't really remember when I last had any hope, and I certainly can't remember when anyone else did either. Because really, since women stopped being able to have babies, what's left to hope for?
The world was stunned today by the death of Diego Ricardo, the youngest person on the planet. The youngest person on Earth was 18 years, 4 months, 20 days, 16 hours and 8 minutes old. The ultimate mystery, why are women infertile? Some say it's genetic experiments, pollution. Why do you think we can't make babies anymore? Doesn't matter. It's all over in 50 years. It's too late. Move along! Move along! Hello, Theo. How have you been? I'm sorry about the theatrics. Police have been a pain lately. I haven't seen you for nearly 20 years. I need your help. Not for me, a girl. I need to get her to the coast, past security checkpoints. It's hard for me to look at you. He had your eyes. So why did you come to me? I trust you. Show him. Now you know what's at stake. We have to meet the boat. What is this boat? The Human Project have sent a boat. The Human Project? Yes, the greatest minds in the world working for a new society. Your baby is the miracle the whole world has been waiting for. We will find a way to get you to the Human Project, I promise you. We're almost there, Keith. We're almost there. They say a picture tells a thousand words. This is very, very true. A picture does indeed tell you more than it should naturally say if you pay attention. Now, throughout the years, the government, the wicked satanic government of this world, have been trying to tell albinos, anybody with straight hair, that they are infertile and that the fertility is because they lack carbon, which is falsely called melanin and melatonin. And all through the years, through the pictures they've tried to show the albinos, anybody with straight hair, what's going on with their lives and in their world, they have not paid attention to it. Why is that the case? Because albinism makes you dumb and unintelligent. So anybody with straight hair is genetically dumb and unintelligent, except they keep the commandments of the Creator which is the only way for them to get wisdom. So the clip that we're about to play and show you is a movie called Children of Men. Just talking about the title of the movie alone. It's so much information in that name, Children of Men. And the movie is about the fact that in the near future that women cannot give birth. The characters in this particular movie called Children of Men are actually albinos anybody with straight hair and then if you watch the movie the only person who could get pregnant in the movie was a black young lady so what was it trying to tell you that albinos anybody with straight hair are infertile let's roll the clip from time to time we'll stop break it down and tell you what's going on i can't really remember when i last had any hope and I certainly can't remember when anyone else did either. Because really, since women stopped being able to have babies, what's left to hope for? So that scene that you just heard starts with Clive Owen saying that since women stopped to have children, what is there to hope for? Now, People do not understand pictures when they look at the pictures through the films and the movies that the albino masters try to tell the public what's going on. Clive Owen is an albino. So an albino making that statement saying that since women stopped giving birth, what is there to hope for? He's telling the albino population because he himself is an albino 
because that's what the picture is trying to tell you that albino women are infertile coupled with feminism which reduces the chances of an albino woman to get pregnant the albino population anybody with straight hair population all around the world is declining at a very rapid rate as we had shown you earlier on roll call part number one in what's going on in China let's continue on the world was stunned today by the death of Diego Ricardo the youngest person on the planet the youngest person on earth was 18 years 4 months 20 days 16 hours and 8 minutes old the ultimate mystery why are women infertile some say it's genetic experiments, pollution. Why do you think we can't make babies anymore? Doesn't matter. It's all over in 50 years. So as you heard right that there is a discussion between Clive Owen and Michael Caine. And the big question is asked, why are women infertile? Now, people watching pictures don't understand what they're watching because the discussion is going on between two albinos, anybody with straight hair people, in Michael Caine and Clive Owen. So that means the discussion is about albinic women. Let's continue on. Hello, Theo. How have you been? I'm sorry about the theatrics. Police have been a pain lately. I haven't seen you for nearly 20 years. I need your help. Not for me, a girl. I need to get her to the coast, past security checkpoints. It's hard for me to look at you. He had your eyes. So why did you come to me? I trust you. Show him. So as you can see in this picture called Children of Men, they said that the people who are infertile because the discussion was amongst two albinos in Michael Caine and Clive Owen, referencing the fact that albinic women are infertile, which is the truth. So many albino women cannot get pregnant and neither can the men, the albino men get women pregnant. And this is the discussion that was going on between Michael Caine and Clive Owen. The picture now cuts to a black woman who is pregnant, as you can see right here in this picture, a black woman. What is it trying to communicate to you, the viewer? It's trying to make you understand that the only people who don't have fertility issues are black women. It's a very simple understanding of pictures if you pay attention but most people never pay attention especially albino people why can't they understand what they are looking at because the government for years has been trying to make y'all all understand as an albino woman that you need to procreate with a black person so that you can get some melanin some carbon by showing you in this movie called children of men so the albino generation the albino people anybody with straight hair people cannot get this information because they are full of ego full of arrogance and believe that they know everything when they don't know anything because they are naturally genetically unintelligent so they don't get this message they are busy enjoying their lives busy doing whatever that they want to do because the society provides for them it puts them at the top echelon of life over black people and meanwhile they do not realize that their whole lives are a fantasy because in all truth albinos anybody with straight hair are genetically unintelligent and genetically dumb and so if you seek to go the route to be an albino what's going to happen to you is that you're going to be infertile just like this movie children of men was trying to tell you in the story so pay attention it says in one generation this will be all over that does not necessarily mean that there'll be no more albinos all right in one generation what is trying to say in a nutshell down the line is that they just need carbon and melanin from black people for another generation so hopefully in the next maybe 100 years or 50 years from now 
the artificial intelligence chip will be completed. And when it's completed, the people who are going to require it first and foremost, because they will have so much problems, they'll be sick, infertile, and already they are naturally dumb and unintelligent, will be albinos, anybody with straight hair. Who will receive the artificial intelligence chip first before anybody else? So let's continue on with making you understand through pictures what your government has been trying to tell the albino people, anybody with straight hair all around the world what's going on. And this will be your fate if you're trying to be albinic. The only way you're going to survive in the future is if you are black and if you are keeping the commandments of the creator, which is the primary way that you're going to have natural intelligence and knowledge to flee from the doom that's coming when you receive that artificial intelligence chip, when the power gets shut off. Let's continue on.